In today's video, we have a Desiree, and what we are going to be working on is ball control drills, being able to control and manipulate where that basketball needs to go, and then being able to, of course, score as well. So let's get down. Let's check out some of the drills that I ran with a Desiree to help him improve his ability to handle the ball. Now, I can't really break down this drill too far. It's just basically two ball dribbling both at the same time. This is going to be a great warm-up for really any young basketball player because, of course, dribbling is very important. This one, too, very basic, just opposite dribbles, two balls at the same time. The reason why you would be doing this with a younger player is just so that they are able to work on both their right hand and their left hand at the exact same time. Now, next is going to be just... A continuous through the legs crossovers now this again not a very advanced drill but no matter how old you are this is a great warm-up but at the same time we want to really improve our ability to put that ball through our legs a continuous through the legs dribble is going to be something that will get you to where you need to be to be able to dribble that ball through your legs and wherever a Desiree is, David is not far behind. There is David supporting a Desiree. But next is going to be the next level to this same drill. And that is a couple of dribbles to your left side, cross through the legs, another dribble or two to the right, and then you cross through your legs again. This is going to be all about ball control, being able to control where that ball goes and crossing it through your legs. While this may be easy for some players, for younger players, this is a little bit more difficult. And of course, we want, I want my players who I am training, I want them to mess up. If they lose the ball, that is something that I want them to do because then that shows that they are pushing themselves. And the harder they push themselves, the better they will become. And now this drill that you've been seeing for the last couple of seconds is going to be the same idea as the last drill where we take a couple of dribbles to the right and the left and we cross behind our backs. The idea here is this is going more into what you would be doing in game. I would like a Desiree to get a little bit lower, but it was a hot day. Next, what we will be going into is some two ball dribbling and a one hand pass and then he's going to attack the rim. After he makes that one hand pass, he attacks that rim, he goes for a layup, one dribble. Now the idea here is we are working on our, our dribbling, our ability to manipulate that ball, but at the same time, now we are learning how to do a one hand pass. And a one hand pass is going to be a pass that you are probably going to make more times than not in game. Because a one hand pass is one of the most fastest ways of passing and we need to be able to pass fast in game. There's not going to be many chess passes or two hand passes in game. Now this one may seem silly, but being able to do a spin move while doing two ball dribbling is not that easy, but at the same time, it's going to really help younger players being able to control that ball because now you're moving your body. You need to move that ball with your body and then after he makes that one hand pass, he's going to go in for that shot. This is just a fun drill, difficult for younger players. And then always finish with a layup or some kind of a shot. Because, of course, if you can't score in basketball, not many coaches are going to want you. So you need to be able to score. So always incorporate some kind of a shot or a layup in your drills. I hope that these ball handling drills and ball control drills help you become a better player. If they do, hit that like button and subscribe and comment down below and tell Desiree that he did a fantastic job. He works really hard and we should help support players who work really hard. So good job at Desiree. Anyways, for coaches out there, make sure to go check out my practice plans that are down in the description below.